you want to know Bleak's exact location. Well, how the hell would I know? You have a mind link. Use it. No, I'm done. Every time I even think about Bleak, I feel all oily inside. You said you would help. You said you wanted to make him pay for his crimes. Yeah, but I didn't think it would entail looking into his head. If he catches me, and I see no reason why he wouldn't, he'll come after me and Chase, and probably my in-laws and everybody else I've ever cared about. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to sick your mother on him. If I take her blood, can she spy on Bleak? No one with a brain in their skull would mess with her. She scares the fangs right out of my head. Oh, yes, she does. Trust me, I felt them wither every time she gives me that look. You know the look, the I'll eat you alive if given half a chance, you blood sucking parasite look. <laughs> That's all very interesting, but you know it doesn't work that way. You have a blood bond because he's your father. You have to do it. No, I don't have to do it. You want me to do it. There's a difference. Now is not the time to be difficult, Alexander. It's the perfect time. Remember when you punished me for riding a wheelie on my motorcycle around City Hall? I said, what's the big deal? Humans don't know how to kill vampires. Well, vampires know how to kill vampires. And Bleak doesn't harbor any warm and fuzzy feelings toward me. I know you do, Chase, and I'm eternally grateful you feel warm and fuzzy about me. I just want to stick around and enjoy eternity with you. Is that too much to ask? Waiting for someone else to step up and do something is what's allowed Bleak to get away with it this long. You really think so, Chase? I hate the idea of putting you in danger. If he catches on, he'll have a window into my mind, and that leads him right back to you. Okay. <sighs> I think he's at his house. He's sitting in a huge chair, looking as pompous as ever. Thank you. And one more thing. I either need to take your blood, or you need to come with us so we can monitor him at will. What do you mean, come with you? Where are you going? To the warehouse that Bleak has been using for his experiments. Oh, Fang, no! Are you trying to get killed? The best defense is an offense, so we're taking the fight to him. What better place to gather evidence of his involvement in the conspiracy? We? You know, you never have told me exactly who's involved. The less you know, the safer it is. So you don't trust me. I see. Alexander, it is not like that. Sure it is. It's exactly like that. You still think of me as the resident bad boy pushing buttons just to get a rise out of people. Well, yeah. But no matter how hard I tried, Bleak still hated me. And I was always disappointing the healer. So I figured, why bother trying, you know? I decided I'd go the other way. Less pressure. Alexander. Don't. I don't want to rehash old news. I was just answering Chase. Fine, but I do trust you. 
The problem is exactly what you alluded to earlier. If Bleak tried, he could access your mind and use that information against us. Mm, yeah, that makes sense. If she takes my blood, she'll have access to my thoughts anytime she wants to go snooping. Are you okay with this? Of course there's things I'd rather she not know. Would you want your mom to have full access to your thoughts? That's basically what she is to me. You'd do that for me? Really? Have I told you lately how much I love you? <laughs> well, I thank you, but I can't let you do it. I can sense how nervous you are about someone else taking your blood. And that makes your offer all the more special. Okay, take my blood and stay the hell out of my memories. You can communicate with me and that's it. To go further would be a, a violation. Alexander, I've respected your privacy ever since you've become an adult. Then why do you always know everything I do? That's complicated. Which is another way of saying, I'm not telling you. <sighs> you know how vampires like to gossip. Why would anyone bother to gossip about me? There are a large group of vampires that hate Bleak. Or me. So pointing out when you do something frowned upon makes them feel better about themselves. So my actions make you look bad. That's what you're saying, isn't it? I didn't say that. Besides, the only thing that matters to me is that you're happy. Since you've mated with Chase, you're actually caring if something is dangerous, and for that I'm grateful. Who cares what a bunch of tongue-waggers think? I'm sorry I made life harder for you. It wasn't your fault I had the bad luck to be Bleak's offspring. You've enriched my life in many ways, Alexander. I'm glad I was able to be there for you. I know I made a lot of mistakes, but I did what I thought was right at the time. I'll go with you if you want me to. Actually, I'd rather you didn't. If we run into trouble, I'd rather have you as backup. As in, I'm supposed to ride in like the cavalry and save your ass if this plan that I don't know anything about backfires? Yeah, pretty much. So, you think I'm going to succeed where you failed? Did you hit your head? Or did aliens clone your body and this is some elaborate plan to get me on their ship? Uh, of course there are aliens. I used to fantasize about them being my actual parents and Bleak was just a baby snatcher. And you think I want to wander around through those memories? <laughs> Trust me, your privacy is safe. Hey, it could happen. I wouldn't put anything past Bleak. But you couldn't enter his mind unless you are truly his son. Gah, don't say it that way. I'm not truly his son. I'm regrettably his son. I'm... Unfortunately, his son. I'm a whole lot of things, but truly his isn't one of them. You're a good man, Alexander. You would never hurt anyone. On the other hand, Bleak never met anyone he hasn't hurt. You have some other backup plan besides me, right? You aren't really relying on me if things go to hell. I'm like your backups, backups, backup, right? You're it, Alexander. There's no one else I trust completely. She trusts me? Like, she really trusts me. 
And I don't know what to think about that. She thinks of me as her son. No, she doesn't. She thinks of me as the kid she mentored. Chase, don't tell her that. Of course I think of you as my son. I always have. Then why did you always tell me to call you the healer? I was afraid Blake would take you away from me if he thought I had those kind of feelings for you. So I can call you Mom? <laughs> yes, Alexander, I'd, I'd like that. Chase? No, we don't group hug. Well, maybe it's time we start.